Hey everyone, you're watching the baddest man on the planet, Transaaron38. And you know what that means? That means that this channel is for adults only. So if you're under the age of 18, go somewhere else. Yo, what is up, fellas? I'm your host, Transaaron38. Come up with some more G.I. Joe Classified action. Today we're taking a look at the new G.I. Joe Classified series, the new and improved version of Cobra Firefly. And here is Firefly in all of his glory. Definitely, you definitely see the tag on back here. This is the overseas release. Thank you for Return of the Nerd Star Wars for for this awesome, awesome uh, haul. For I'll be doing Firefly. I got Grunt. I got Low Light, and I got Snow Serpent as well. So these reviews will be coming back to back. So hopefully, but anyway, this is Firefly. Really freaking cool. Um, definitely played with it. Played with the figure. Uh, uh, getting him all situated but man this, this figure looks really good so yeah let's go ahead and get him out of his cardboard prison see what he's all about and ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel and roll that music intro and cobra <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is the new G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Firefly out of his cardboard prison. And yes, he's a really cool figure right out of the box. Number 84 in the classified line. Instead of the number, I think it was, what, 20? 21 or something from the, the Cobra Island that we got? Yeah, don't get, a, go get me wrong. It's like, uh, I'll try to find my other Firefly because I've been moving some stuff around and do some size comparisons here throughout the review, hopefully. But anyway, here is Firefly in all of his glory. Definitely digging the packaging with this guy. Definitely digging the packaging. Definitely looking really good. You got Firefly right there with explosions in the back. So hey, there's a hot dog stand. I wonder if Slimer was nearby. <laughs> but uh, there's his RCXD right there, which I'm calling it the RCXD. Hey, you might as well. He comes with all this stuff here with his backpack, his gun, his goggles, his knife. Uh, his, uh, I do believe it's not, it's not Uzi, but, it's, uh, I can't remember what the name of the gun is from Call of Duty, but, uh, you got, got his RCXD drone, then you got, uh, some bouncing Bettys and a, a remote trigger, uh, detonator switch for his hand, which is pretty badass, so, really cool, love the artwork right here on the side, number 84, go ahead and scan that if you guys want to, free scan on me, <laughs> So on the side you get that nice piece of artwork here with Firefly with his goggles on, which is freaking awesome. Number 84, I'm just digging it, digging it. So on the back you got your obligatory product shots. Obviously he's a Cobra, uh, Cobra, Cobra enemy. You know, got a nice head sculpt going on here, and then it shows all the stuff that comes in the box as well. We got a big old sticker right here. So yeah. Anyway, that is it for the packaging. Here is Firefly. Definitely Firefly is really cool. Cool little figure out of the box. Definitely really nice. Love those uh, love those nice blue eyes that they, they paint in there with this flesh tone. Really nice. Looking really badass. Now the goggles can go down over. Uh, you can take the goggles off if you really want to. If you just don't want him having any goggles on, it's up to you. But uh, kind of gives you that... These goggles kind of remind me of the Ghostbuster goggles, uh, the Ecto goggles a little bit, the way they feel, um, which is pretty cool. We got the new new vest piece going on here for Firefly. This is a whole new mold for Firefly, which is really awesome. Uh, you got the Cobra logo right here, campographed on him. You got his, his belt here with the concussion grenades right here. It looks like concussion grenades or flash grenades or whatever you want to call them. Wish they would have had these removable. That would have been nice. Um... But he does have his hip holster here. He's going to store his gun over here, like so. So, put that over there. Which is pretty bad ass. So. 
You see he has his detonator switch in his hand. And then on his backpack, I have his Bouncing Betty stored on the back. Bouncing Betty's, land mines, whatever you want to call them. I call them Bouncing Betty's from like Call of Duty. They just lay flat. Where is like, let me go. They just lay flat on the on the surface here, and they do just get pegged in with a little peg hole right here. So you can uh, use these if you want for photography. If you want, it's up to you. And you got some C4 pack uh, patch pouches on the side. Looks like C4 strapped to them in case he needs to throw some more. Or there, I think it's C4. It just might be other cartridges going on the side here. Um, but really cool. Now he gets his knife that's stored in the side of his arm. It's not painted, unfortunately. But hey, it is what it is. And then for the promo shots, I don't know if you want I want to let you guys know. For the promo shots, his gun, this part on the gun is green on the shots of the thing, but his gun does not have that. Same goes with we with his knife on his arm. That does not have it as well. So that's an unfortunate but uh eh, it's just a promo pick so eh. but it is what it is on that definitely getting this figure out of the box he's really tight now uh, the point uh the joints were really tight so i put him in some hot water um and got him got his joints loosened up he's still a little stiff but uh really nice and uh i love it how the ball joints are a lot thicker on these gi joe releases um they're actually really easy to pop off um not, not, I was like, I was using some force, but it, you can definitely see the thickness of those ball joints. I wanted to show you guys that as I pop back on very easily. Um, the thickness of those ball joints, I was like, they know that we're, uh, we're posing for photography and, and playability, so, which is really cool compared to the original, uh, ball joints that they were using for classified. So, anyway, love the boots, get nice boots on them nice swell right there got the nice knee joints going on here which is really cool heads head does rotate around you got that wiggle wobbly <laughs> which is pretty badass now storage wise for the rcxd it's pretty awesome as like you know we'll just take a look at that real quick the rcxd looks really badass uh, a little bit of dirt on her from the bottom from me doing some photography with uh and, a, and i did a reel as well prior to this video so hope you guys and gals enjoyed that reel so there's the rcxd i'm calling it the bomb bomb rc which is pretty cool there's a little uh slot in the back here and there's a little peg you just peg that right on the back and you got storage for the rcxd for firefly so so there you go for on storage for that now he does come with his little detonator remote. It does come with his detonator remote. It has a number three on it. So it has a little trigger finger right there on it. You can take it out of his hand if you want. There is no storage on his backpack whatsoever for this. So be careful. Um, might not be able to find it if you don't store it right. But uh, there is no storage. I do not see no storage for it on his backpack. Uh, unless there's a hole on the back side here to peg in there. Guess not, unless you want to make make one there and store it. But uh, where that slot is on the back is for his gun storage, like so. Got that gun storage going on there with that. Now, this off to the side. I'm gonna put Firefly right there. He does come with the removable ammo clip as well, with all the other classified guns. Which is pretty cool and you do get the suppressor to get taken off here um it's more looser if you put it through this way but it's tighter going through this way on this side so it is what it is on that now you can use this suppressor for the uh the pistol as well but um but there is firefly in all of his glory definitely a really cool figure and i highly recommend you guys and gals picking them up definitely really really good now size comparison we'll go ahead and bring in a couple other figures for size comparison as well so we got never did a review on this guy yet this is the python patrol uh crimson guard here we go here's a custom of i i did with a cobra island trooper with some uh uh what was it the uh, marvel legends 
was it Marvel Legends uh, Sabretooth used his parts to add some wintry gear to him. <laughs> Can, try to bring in. There we go. There's a Cobra Eel for size comparison as well. So yeah, I'm not going to get too much into the comparisons uh, with them, but uh, definitely let's get Firefly in here and do a comparison as well. The first version of Firefly. Yeah. yeah. And here's size comparison with the original uh, Firefly that we got from the Cobra Island exclusive. But uh, yeah, really cool. I like the difference is what they did with a different take on Firefly. It's pretty cool, which I don't have his backpack with him, but we all got Coat Ryan and Firefly, so for sure. So, so yeah. So there is Firefly, ladies and gentlemen. Really cool uh, figure. I definitely highly recommend you guys and guys picking him up. He's a really cool figure. Definitely with that RCXD on the back. I'm just drawing all over that. Just drawing all over that RCXD drone for sure. So yeah. Let me get my camera situated back here. And there we go. So yeah. There's my review on a new G.I. Joe classified series. Cobra Firefly. Definitely really cool figure. I highly recommend you guys and guys picking them up. Definitely really cool to add to your G.I. Joe Classified collection indeed. So yeah. So until next time, I'm your host TransAaron38 talking again. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, and all any videos you do. Keep a look out for any new videos head your way. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. All my links and everybody's links will be down in the description down below. Definitely check everybody else out as well. So until next time, I'm your host TransAaron38 talking again. I'm out of here. Later. And Cobra!